right away. Her father and I. Welcome. Welcome everybody to the marriage celebration of Shasta and Lance. We have come together, family and friends, to uphold you Shasta and Lance, as you made today your vows of marriage. We celebrate with you the love you have discovered in each other and support your decision to commit yourselves to one another for the rest of your lives. Marriage is a holy state born in the name of love. It was given in wisdom and in kindness so that mankind would find happiness. Our ceremony today is based on the relationship that you Shasta and Lance share and on your faith in love. For it is a covenant. It is indeed a joyous occasion to celebrate when two souls are united in love, when two hearts experience the same feeling, and when two persons act as one in this most beautiful spiritual union. Please sit down. Shasta and Lance, today is a very special day in your lives. You have decided to live the rest of your lives together as husband and wife, promising to face the future together, accepting whatever may lie ahead. Soon you will be declared husband and wife, but you will have to decide each day that it stretches out before that you truly want to be married. And remember, love makes the burdens lighter because you divide them. It makes joys more stronger because you share them. It makes you also stronger so you can reach out and become involved in life in ways you dare not risk alone. Just and Lance, your marriage is intended to join you for life in a relationship so intimate and personal that it will change your whole being. To attain such love, you will need to commit yourselves to one another. Freely and gladly for the sake of a richer and deeper life together. There is a beautiful reading about love in Corinthians. Love is passion, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily anger, and it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the true. It always protects always trust, always hopes, and always perseveres. Love never fails. And now, these three remain. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of this is always love. This Shasta and Lance, the covenant of marriage, is one that can be entered into only by persons who are but legally and spiritually free to offer themselves to one another. Lance, do you come of your own free will and with a conscious desire to be united in marriage with Shasta? I do. Shasta, do you come of your own free will and with a conscious desire to be united in marriage with Lance? I do. Shasta and Lance, do you promise to care for each other in the joys and sorrows of life, come what may, and to share their responsibility for growth and enrichment of your life together? I do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Will you please, as an expression that your hearts are joined together in love, now Joy Bong has? Are you going to say 
your own vows or do you want just to listen to vows? <laughs> okay, Lance. This woman whom you hold by the hand is to be your wife. She has given you one of the most sacred things under heaven, a woman's life and a woman's love. It is not what you bring her in a material way that will make true happiness. For riches without love is nothing. The gift without the giver is bar. Practice as a husband the virtues that you have shown as friend and lover, so her heart will be won to your heart forever. Shasta, this man whom you hold by the hand is to be your husband. Upon your life, your love, and your devotion, he will lean for strength and inspiration. He's going to look to you for encouragement, for cheerfulness, and for confidence. May your life and love be the inspiration that will constantly lead him to greater affection and devotion to you, his wife. Dear family and friends, you have all heard these vows and promises. Will you do your best to honor, encourage, and support this marriage? If so, please say, we do. We do. <laughs> <laughs> Lens and Shasta have pledged your devotion to each other. I must remind you, however, it is not these words that made your marriage real. From this point, when you do not stay together simply because you love. You choose to love because you have made the commitment to be together. What has been joined, let no man separate. What token of your love and affection have you to offer each other? these rings. Lance, place these rings on Shasta's finger. Now while holding her hand, please repeat after me. Shasta, I give you this ring. Shasta, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. I promise to cherish you. I promise to cherish you. And honor you. And honor you. Each and every day. Each and every day. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Shasta, place this ring on Lance's finger. Now while holding his hand, please repeat after me. Lance, I give you this ring. Lance, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. As a symbol of my love and faithfulness. I promise to cherish you. I promise to cherish you. And honor you. And honor you. Each and every day. Each and every day. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. <laughs> a ring is a fighting symbol to represent the covenant you are making today. A circle, the emblem of eternity, reminding you that your love, devotion, and commitment to one another are to be forever. Dear Shasta and Lance, may these rings be blessed as a symbol of your affectionate unity. Your lives are now joined in one unbroken circle. Wherever you go, may you always return to one another. May you two find in each other the love for which all men and women yearn. May you grow in understanding and in compassion. May the home that you will have together be full of love, lover, family, and friends. And may these rings on your fingers symbolize the touch of the spirit of love that is today in your hearts. Now, please celebrate with me the sun ceremony on the back of the table. Do you hear me? Okay, you will talk to you one by one. Please. Across the water, across the deep blue ocean, under the open sky. Oh my, baby, I'm trying. Chest and Lance, today you join your separate lives together. The two separate bottles of sun 
symbolize your separate lives, separate families, and separate sets of friends. They represent all that you are and all that you'll ever be as an individual. They also represent your lives before today. As these two containers of sand are poured into the third container, the individual containers will no longer exist, but will be joined together as one. Just as this grain of sand can never be separated and poured again into individual containers, so will your marriage be. We had one more kiss I'll wait for you I promise you I will I'm lucky I'm in love With my best friend Lucky to have been Where I have been Lucky to be coming Home again Lucky we're in the sea to an island where we'll meet okay. you'll hear the music fill the air i'll put a flower in your hair blow the breezes through the trees now the most pretty please sign the wedding certificate Let's give thanks for this moment that brings Shasta and Lance together in marriage today. We celebrate with them the hopes they hold for their life together. We ask your blessing upon them to sustain them through the difficult and uncertain times that come to every relationship and may their love deepen with the passing years. Because your Shasta and Lance have exchanged your promises of faithful love and because in our presence you have exchanged symbols which make your covenant visible, we now recognize before the community that you are husband and wife. Lance, you may now kiss your bride. Sorry. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Shasta and Lance Mill. <laughs>